Hello mom Fitzy, and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another fashion video. I am going to be bringing you a video today that you loved. The last time I did this, I'm thinking about making this into a series because I love shopping for pieces on the high street that look so much more expensive than they actually are. I've created almost a bit of a series over on my Instagram. If you're not following me over on there, then definitely check out my Instagram for all of the styling tips and tricks. But the last time I did this, you guys loved seeing all of those pieces that I recommend picking up, those gems that I find on the high street that look so much more expensive than they actually are. If you've been following me for a while, you will know one of my favorite things is to shop pieces that are really inexpensive, but look like you have spent a fortune on them. I love being able to mix like high-end pieces with high street pieces to create a really beautiful outfit. Because let's be honest, we can't always be shopping from super luxury places for every single thing in our wardrobe. Instead, I think a much smarter way to spend your money and to invest in pieces into your wardrobe is to look for items that just look more expensive than they actually cost and I am never ashamed to tell people that they're from the high street either even though they look like they're not I will tell them this is from New Look this is from Caramel and I'm always so proud of how affordable these pieces are yeah how expensive they make me look so let's jump straight into the video with eight items that you are not going to believe from the high street starting of course with the find of the season which was actually sent to me by one of you guys so i have you to thank for these beautiful heeled slingback shoes now if you watch my last video you will know i featured the flat version of these in that video and you guys let me know new look have now released them in a heeled version and these slingbacks honestly look like they have come straight from chanel but cost less than 30 pounds which i honestly think is absolutely amazing i do feel like this time of year is the time of year where i very much need a little block heel in my wardrobe i'm going to a lot more events there's a lot more parties happening that kind of end of season festive feeling i feel like you need just a little pair of heels to have in your wardrobe but i for one don't like uncomfortable heels. I don't like wearing a stiletto. I'm not the kind of person that's going to sacrifice comfort for height because I've accepted that I'm five foot exactly and there is not a lot that can change that. So whether I'm wearing a heel like this or a heel like this, I'm probably always gonna be the shortest person at the party. So I have very much accepted that. But, there, but saying that there are a few things I have in my wardrobe that I always feel like just need that little bit of elevation like my gorgeous new lily silver skirt that you saw in my last video. Wide leg trousers I always feel like look so much more elevated when you just have that little bit of elevation extra height so I'm so so excited that you look have now released these beautiful slingbacks in a heeled version and they also do them in a plain black version if you don't like the nude and you want something maybe a little bit more evening appropriate I think I might need to pick up the plain black as well to have in my wardrobe but the most beautiful pair of high street shoes that look like they have come straight from a designer store now is the time of year to start thinking about our winter boots and there is one boot brand that I have literally been shouting from the rooftops for years and I feel like they are still quite undiscovered I always get questions from you guys where I shop for knee-high boots and there's one brand and one brand only that I now shop from and that is duo boots if you struggle to find knee-high boots that fit whether it's because you have teeny tiny calves and you find that normal knee-high boots are like really big on you they're really loose they go baggy they go a bit like floppy or if you're more similar to me and you have very very big calves i have such wide calves to the point that i can't even do up sport versions of knee high boots i've tried so many other brands and i cannot get them over my big calves whereas duo boots actually do bespoke fitted knee high boots for a high street boot price. And honestly, I feel like they have revolutionized the game. So the way it works is you basically measure the circumference of your calf. So whether you have teeny tiny calves or big calves, you can shop for the perfect pair of boots that is going to fit your calves. So they kind of feel like a completely bespoke pair that has been made for you, that is perfect for you, that is the exact fit that you need. But obviously because they do it as like a kind of setting and like that's just a part of their service, they don't charge extortionate prices for them. So I honestly feel like they are the brand that you need to invest in for your beautiful autumn winter boots. I have so many pairs from Duo Boots in my collection. If you watched my autumn winter switch over video, you'll have seen a small part of my collection. There's actually still a few more boots that I have currently in the loft that I need to get out for autumn winter. I just absolutely adore them. And I've had some in my wardrobe for about 
four years now and they are still going strong. I wanted to show you this pair because this is my favorite pair from Joy Boots and just shows how beautifully made they are. Like I really worried when I first shopped from them that they were going to look almost like medical boots because I've got such big calves and having to shop from somewhere that does like the bespoke fit, I was really worried they weren't gonna be like fashion boots. However, I was proved very wrong the second they arrived. I mean, you can see how like wide fit this calf is, but it doesn't look like it doesn't belong on the boot. It still looks so beautiful. They are still so well made. And this pair right here, so many people have asked me if these are Jimmy Choo's. Every single time I wear them, I feel like it's the pointed toe, it's the stiletto heel. They are just such an elevated pair of knee high boots, but they do flats, they do like countryside boots, they do like little heels, they do block heels, they do absolutely everything. So I will leave a link to Duo Boots along with my beautiful stiletto heels here, which I absolutely adore. These honestly make me feel like a million dollars. I love wearing them, particularly around Christmas time when you just want to really elevate your outfit and look like you have spent thousands on something that actually you have not you got at a fairly affordable price so these are just the best investment to make in autumn winter and duo boots have honestly changed the game in the boot industry i feel like they've really shaken up the industry and i could not be more in love with them if you've watched any of my videos before it is probably not going to surprise you to see these h&m knit cardigans featured in this video they have literally taken over my wardrobe and you guys are still shopping these months after i first featured these i wore these all throughout summer actually we didn't have the warmest summer here in the uk so i was able to wear these with like linen trousers and really lightweight fabrics underneath but now that we are rolling into autumn winter i've been wearing these with like wool trousers jeans boots slip skirts and they still look absolutely beautiful and they've still been working so hard in my wardrobe and i cannot tell you how many compliments i've had on these i feel like it's the gold button detail the weave of the knit they just look so elevated and so much more expensive everyone gets so excited whenever i can tell them they are from H&M because H&M is so easy to shop. You know they're going to be a really affordable price. I believe these are both $25.99 if I remember correctly, but I will of course leave them both linked down below. They've also released a third color of these, which I think would be so beautiful for like spring. Next year, it's a really gorgeous light baby blue, so stunning. And they've also released these in a few other kind of variations, a few other styles. So I will leave them linked down below because I know how much you guys adore these knits. I can see how much you've been shopping them how much you've been loving them and i can attest they are probably the most complimented piece i have in my wardrobe they look so much more expensive than they actually are and speaking of h&m another gorgeous purchase i picked up recently this beautiful pair of trainers i feel like there's been a bit of a theme with regards to shoes shown in this video but it just goes to show when it comes to footwear you really don't need to be spending a huge amount of money for your footwear to look expensive for it to look elevated for it to look high end and i feel like these trainers are the perfect example because these have been mistaken for adidas sambas so many times i had a couple of girls actually ask me recently if they were like a particular type of sambas if they were like part of the special spe special is that what you call it i know there's still like different variations of the sambas but these are a fraction of the price i think you have to add an extra zero on the end of the price tag for the adidas sambas and i just don't want to be dropping huge amounts of money on footwear anymore, especially trend trainers, fancy trainers. I feel like they're just gonna get ruined. They're gonna get scuffed. They're gonna get marked. I would much rather buy something like this, save my money and still have a beautiful pair of trainers to style up and wear. And they actually come in loads of different variations, lots of different colorways. I have been really eyeing up the burgundy. If you watch my autumn winter trends video, you'll know that burgundy is a color of this season. And I think they would be really fun to add into my autumn winter wardrobe. They also come in gray i think they come in black maybe even green as well i will leave them linked down below if you do want to check them out because i feel like these have been one of my best high street finds that look so much more expensive than they actually are let's talk for a minute about jewelry because i feel like jewelry is a really easy one to get swept up in and made to feel like we need to spend so much money on particularly watches i feel like the watch industry has just monopolized the game and made us feel like we need to drop stupid money in order to own a beautiful classic elevated timepiece and i'm here to tell you that that is completely wrong and i want to introduce you to a brand that for me have changed the game in the watch industry and that is seconda i own a beautiful silver seconda watch which i cannot tell you how many times i have been asked whether this is cartier and when i tell people this watch is under 100 
pounds. They do not, believe me, because it just emulates that beautiful, elegant, quality aesthetic. And it's not costume jewelry, it has not tarnished, it is beautiful, elevated, and so affordable, particularly compared to other watch brands. I really do feel like Seconda have changed the game in the watch industry, because they've released so many beautiful styles, whether you're looking for a leather strap, a two-toned gold and silver, if you're looking for big, small, they have so many beautiful watches for such affordable prices and I feel like this watch just elevates so many of my outfits particularly in autumn winter I love a watch styled up with a knit it just it elevates any look so it really goes to show you don't need to be dropping silly money you don't need to be spending huge amounts on a beautiful timepiece you can pick up a stunning classic elevated watch for a fraction of the price. Next up is an item that you would have seen in a recent haul. I know I unboxed this in my autumn winter switch over video and I titled that video that I have found my dream winter coat and I think it is safe to say that is true and I always get asked when it comes to winter coats where is the best place on the high street to look for winter coats and I would always say Karen Millen. They do so many beautiful really high quality with good materials woolen coats for winter that just look so much more expensive than they actually are and this coat in particular I think ticks all of those boxes it is beautifully made it is such a gorgeous structure and this embroidered detail honestly this looks to me like it could have come straight from Dior it is absolutely stunning I kind of can't wait for the temperatures to drop a little bit more so I can actually start wearing this out of the house because I know I'm going to get stopped on the street and ask where this is from because it's just so beautiful it's so unique and elevated and I know nobody's going to believe me when I tell them it's from Karen Millen so I would definitely recommend checking out their coats because they always look so elevated they laugh so long you can buy a caramel and coat and have it in your wardrobe for 10 15 years plus if you look after it they are so beautifully made they are such high quality and in terms of price points i feel like they are such a great piece to pick up if you want to look like you spent silly money but actually you wanted to get it from the high street another amazing karen melon find and i promise the last pair of shoes i'm going to show you in this video is this beautiful pair of sling back flats if you were to tell me that these were from jimmy choo i would 100 percent believe you they look so much more expensive than they actually are and they come in a few different variations on karen millen they come in a heeled version they come in an all black version but for me i think it's the two-tone that really just elevates them and makes them look so much more expensive and what i love about doing in these videos is being able to show you those more affordable pieces so that when you do have luxury items in your wardrobe you compare them together and they just elevate the entire look like i do actually have a Jimmy Choo bag behind me and how well do these pair together it really reinforces that these could be an expensive pair of shoes it reinforces that these could be from Jimmy Choo and you're pairing two pieces together that just work so perfectly it's always one of my favorite things being able to find a much more affordable variation that I can pair with something a little bit more luxury to create the perfect elevated outfit and finally, let's talk a little bit about knitwear because knitwear is a really interesting one. Obviously, it is the perfect time of year to be adding knits into our wardrobe and we can spend a lot of money on a knitwear piece. You can find items that are very expensive that look almost identical to pieces that you can find on the high street. And this jumper is the perfect example of that because I have seen so many luxury retailers doing almost identical versions to this knit, particularly with this detail at the back, the little bow detail and the kind of collar. I just think this looks so expensive but I actually got it at French Connection and it is a fraction of the price of so many similar knits that I've seen on the high street. I've had so many compliments every single time I have worn this and it's the perfect kind of knit that I feel like you can dress up or dress down. You can wear it with a pair of jeans and trainers for some weekend styling, add a slip skirt, tie your hair up and a beautiful pearl necklace and you are ready to rock it for an evening look. It's one of those perfect pieces that I feel like you can really get your cost per wear out of despite the fact that it was quite affordable in the first place anyway there is nothing I love more than a cost per wear piece that was affordable to start with so I think this is the perfect knit to pick up and add into your wardrobe if you really want to emulate that luxury vibe if you want to look like you spent a huge amount of money but you were actually able to pick it up on the high street so I hope you enjoyed seeing all of those pieces and I hope this serves as a reminder that we don't always need to be dropping silly money in order to have beautiful elevated high-end looking pieces in our wardrobe I am just loving filming these videos for you guys and finding those hidden gems on the high street that looks so much more expensive than they actually are so i really hope you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you are new and i will see you in my next one bye